They hate me Cause I turn nothing into something Ooh. They hate me Cause I spit facts I ain't bluffing Pacino This is Panda Perspective Now today we talking about a topic that everybody go through every single day And you hate to go through that shit Every single day it's the workforce. Everybody getting up and going to work in the morning. Now, my perspective on the, on that is, I feel like, like the title say, I feel like that shit is modern day slavery, my nigga. And we gonna go all the way through that as much as I can. I'm gonna go out my experience. So I've been working since the age of 15. First job was a chicken spot in my head, Texas, called Jim's Crispy Chicken. You know, at that age, I think I was I was a freshman. I was playing football, going to school, and I'm working. Now, you just get paid once a week. I think I used to make like, what, five, six hundred dollars a week, you know. But at that age, I'm like, shit, I got my own money, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I ain't tripping. But, you know, it's, at that age, you still want to go out and have fun and shit like that. So then, from the age of 15 to probably 18, is all uh, trial and error, just building your resume and building your consistency. You know what I'm saying? So, ended up quitting there, went to Sonic. You know what I'm saying? After Sonic, uh, a nigga, I was going to my senior year, so I was just focused on finishing high school. Finished high school, went to a lumber yard when I was cutting trucks for like chicken coops, houses. All that shit. I was making like $800, eight, $900 a week. But nigga fell drug test, so I lost that job. Ended up going to a tire spot. Worked there <clears throat> a couple of days. I was getting paid on the table, so he just wanted to pay me whatever the fuck he wanted to pay me. But I was on probation at the time, so I was like, fuck it. Quit that. Ended up going to Sanderson Farms inside, like where they cut the chicken that they package and shit. Worked there for about a month. And then uh, after that, that's when I had a warrant out for my arrest, felony uh, charge. So I'm running, so I'm like, fuck it. No, 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 I started working at Pie Belly, and then I got that shit. So working at Pie Belly was cool. I'm around women all day, you know what I'm saying? Get free food, like, that shit was cool. Uh, I was a good worker, so wasn't clean. They ended up transferring me to Temple to help open that store. But uh, I had my car wreck, so I was on bed rest and all that shit. Plus, I had probation. No, I had, I had, the, I had like, I think I had three, two or three, like, warrants. I was standing once with my wrist and shit. So I'm trying to fly under the radar and shit like that. So we end up moving to Dallas. Uh, I ended up getting released to go back to work. Uh, so I end up working under the table because I still got the felony. I had like four at that time. Uh, car dealership. Because uh, I needed just money in my pocket, but I couldn't. I couldn't get a legit job because my security was flagged, you know what I'm saying? So any money that would hit a bank account with my name on it, they'd take it out and you're not even paying towards, you know what I'm saying? You're not even paying towards what you owe. So worked there for a couple of months. Uh, after that, uh, the lawsuit was over when I got in a car wreck. So they paid me about $10,000 and up paying my lawyer paying the court fees, all that shit. Got that off my record. So I wanted to go to Amazon. And um, that was like, my case is still too new. I just closed this, so I gotta wait like two years. So I'm like, fuck. So I end up working for uh, suspension. Suspension, um, like low riders and shit like that. Uh, at a spot in Alvarado, did that under the table for a minute. Then I went to Meineke. Worked there for three months during the pandemic and shit. Uh, they was paying bullshit. Now I'm gonna go through this. I'm just giving you my rundown. And then we're gonna go back and you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you about it. But uh, ended up quitting that, went to Dodge. Worked there for about 14, 15 months. They was paying shit. So Subaru had an offer. I went to Subaru. And that was cool until 
you know, I'm sitting there selling all these companies and all this shit, and I'm not making no commission, no bonus. So I talked to him about it. They didn't want to give me my shit, so I quit. Didn't have a plan B. Just I felt like I don't want to be keep getting misused. And by the grace of God, now I'm actually working somewhere I want to work, and that's Amazon. And I'm enjoying it. So I gave that rundown just to show, you know what I'm saying, I'm 26, so I've been working for 11 years, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say shit became a problem with with the work. Like I started noticing shit and everything once I hit Monique. It started with Monique. Monique is probably it. Cause that's when I was at Monique, I was actually like, uh, I had no more ties to the street, no more, you know what I'm saying? I'm an actually legit nigga, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm looking at 401ks and dental plans and all this shit. So the thing with Monique was, one thing I learned about the car industry is, well, mechanic and technicians and shit like that is, they really don't give a fuck if you went to school for that shit. They care more about your experience. So they'll take a nigga like me that got like two years, one year experience on um, oil changes, well, I had experience with everything on the car at that point once I hit my key. But I wanted to do, I just wanted to be a lube tech. Like, if you just do oil chain, break job, tune ups, all that shit, I'm cool with that. I know that shit like the back of my hand. You know what I'm saying? So, the thing with my key is, my key is independently owned. So, depending on who, it's not all, yeah, there's branches of my key, but they're not all owned by the same, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, the dude that on my branch, we got paid salary. So if you don't know about salary, salary is you get play, you get you basically get paid a fat a flat rate no matter the work you do. You basically getting paid on if you come in or not. That's how you getting paid. Now you have a flag rate as a tech uh, as a mechanic. If you hit a certain amount of hours working, then you get paid so much plus you know what i'm saying your flat rate thing with me was i'm a loop tech so for me to flag let's say you have to flag 50 hours to get a certain amount the job that i'm doing only requires 20 minutes so i would have to do a ton of fucking cars in a matter of that two weeks most people just coming in for oil change so basically you're getting paid 20 you getting paid for 20 to 30 minutes of uh that's that's what you flagging for. But you don't see that. So say 50 hours, right? At the end of two weeks, you got 49 hours. You're not getting that extra because you didn't hit the flag. That's way for them to pocket. You know what I'm saying? They're not really having to pay you like that because you didn't flag. So it's one of those. I remember as a kid hearing about commission. Commission basically paid off how much you sell. So like waitresses and shit, they don't make money off the job itself. They make money off the tips. So you have to tip them. So basically you have to go in there like, all right, today I'm gonna knock out such, like you have to go in there enthusiastic and determined, you know what I'm saying? You can't just go to work and be like, shit, I'm getting paid just for being here, so fuck it. So them niggas, I was getting paid uh, $900 every two weeks at Mindy. And I'm like, bro, this shit not cutting it. Like my car insurance, all that shit. And I was trying to move out on my own. So I'm like, man, this shit ain't gonna cut it. So after Monarchy, uh, I went to Dodge. No, no, take that back. Cause Trump was in office. So a nigga got a stimulus. Like stimulus plus my uh, income tax was like 2,400. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sit back, rethink how, what, uh, what industry, what career I want. You know what I'm saying? So I'm chilling, I'm working on cars on the side, making more money than I was making at Meineke, being like a, a, a independent contractor, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like Before I took the job at Dodge, I had somebody call me like, uh, you see you can do a, what do you say? An engine swap. He was like, all right, got the cherry picker and everything. I'm like, yeah, I've done that like three, four times. So yeah, I can do that. He wanted to give me 2700 just to do that. You know what I'm saying? And some other shit. But, yeah, yeah, 2700 like, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
My stepdad called, he was like, hey, Dodge is looking for a delivery driver. So I'm like, how much they paying? He was like, $12. I'm like, $12, nigga? What the fuck, nigga? I don't $12. But I'm like, I need a steady income. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll take it. So about three months in, because my boss at the time had told me, he was like, if you stay for uh, three months, we'll give you a raise. You know what I'm saying? So three months in, I'm like, hey, man, I've been here. What's up? Where my raise at? And he was like, I'm going to see what I can do. So they ended up giving me a raise up to 1375 which was cool. But one thing about working, bro, is you don't talk about how much you get paid. I advise everybody, if you're working somewhere, ask motherfuckers what they getting paid. Because come to find out, there was a bitch that was working there, and she started two months before I did. She was getting paid $14. This bitch didn't do shit. Like, I did her job. Like, I mapped out her route and shit for her every day, pulled her parts that she needed to deliver, all that shit. And she getting paid more than me, so I got tight about it. So... With me getting tight about it, I got pulled into the office. Like, I heard you upset because she made more than you. And I'm like, yeah, I am. Like, well, some places do seniority. So based on how long you been there, is you get paid. I'm like, it was a white bitch, so I'm automatically like, y'all don't want to pay a nigga what he work. Woo, woo, woo. So she ended up quitting. So I'm like, all right, the bitch quit. Like, what's up? Let me, I should get paid more. Nigga, 1375, I nigga, and I'm driving from Grand Prairie to Dallas. If you not familiar with this area that's like uh what 60 no no, no uh 20. about 50 uh 50 round day 50 miles a day that's just working back and i'm in the cadillac the v8 dual exhaust you know what i'm saying and i'm working i got paid hourly at, at dodge uh but they was like you want to make more money work ot and I'm like, dog, I'm trying to get an apartment. They don't give a fuck about no OT because OT is not guaranteed. So they literally tell me, if you can't afford the apartment you want, maybe you should look for a cheaper apartment. And I took offense to that. Like, nah, nigga, why don't you pay me what I work? I'm in this bitch from, I open this hoe and close this hoe. I'm in this hoe Monday through Friday, uh, uh, 7, really, 6.45, to six o'clock and then on Saturdays I'm here from six forty five to three. Nigga, you can't pay me my old nigga like thirteen seventy five and and everything's going up and shit. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. So uh in my mind I was like I'ma start looking for another job. I'ma keep this job to keep money in my pocket, but I'ma look for another job. Subaru was hiring for uh I was under the impression they was hiring under uh for a warehouse worker because I was coming from the warehouse. So uh, they ended up putting me on front counter. Well, I ended up taking that job. I quit Dodge. Uh, I started at $17 an hour. Uh, I was only getting paid hourly for a month. And I, my schedule, I was working 9.30 to 6.30, Monday through Friday. I only had to work one Saturday out of the month. So uh, I'm like, all right, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But then they ended up putting me on salary. And in my mind, I'm like, all right, I'm on salary. I'll make more, you know what I'm saying? I get these benefits, 401k, all that shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. This is the career I need. So I end up getting paid. I'm on salary, but I, I got a base rate of 20, what is it? 20, 75 an hour or something like that. But my hours went from 8.30 to 6.30, uh, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, every one Saturday after week. So it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Um, I forgot to say this. And when I was at Dodge, they thing was, um, you know, I think I did a video. I'm pretty sure I did a video talking about how uh, jobs is like high school. And when I did that video, I was working at Subaru, but I, I, I dealt with that. I dealt with it at Dodge. I'm not no politicking ass nigga. I literally do my job and go home. I'm gonna do my job to my the best of my abilities. But I'm not here to be nobody's friend, none of that shit. Because I have a life. You got two type of niggas at work. You got niggas that 
got a life outside of work and you got niggas that have a life inside of work. Now, them niggas that got a life inside of work, you can tell they come to work, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Who's the, who's this, who's the? Or they a nigga that's empowered to where like they have no power outside of work. They get that power at work. I'm the type of nigga, I get my power outside of work. Like I got shit going outside of work. That's why a nigga be like, <clears throat> depending on my finances, I might tell you, nah, I can't work tomorrow. So, once Dodge found out that, nigga, I'm here for my chick, and I don't care about nothing else but my chick, niggas start isolating themselves, which I love, because I don't want to be fucking bothered in the first place. So, uh, went to Subaru, got salary, you know what I'm saying? They real big on, oh, we all a family. Nah, nigga, we're fucking co-workers, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. Not to mention, I'm the only nigga up in this hoe. So I already feel out of place. But whatever the fuck. I made it known there too. Actually, I didn't. I just was not vocal at all at work. Like, I was not, not finna sit here and talk about who you sleeping with or none of that shit. I don't care, my nigga. I'm here for my money. Make sure this whole recording. Record? Yeah. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm long winded like a hoe. But, uh, yeah, I'm here for my money, my nigga. Like, I'm not here to be nobody's friend. I'm not trying to do drinks. I don't even drink. I've been drunk in almost two years. So, I'm not trying to drink outside of work. Like, I'm here to get my money, my nigga. So, it became politicking. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers was like, Fio don't want to talk to us. Uh, Fio don't want to. Uh, what they used to call that shit? Uh, 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 team building team building exercises outside of work so like motherfuckers wanna go bowling and shit nah fool I'm good my nigga like at that time I worked in Grand Prairie no not Grand Prairie I worked in Grapevine and Grapevine from Duncanville that's like 70 mile round trip 60 and 70 mile round trip bro so I'm, I'm not, nah, nigga, I'm not coming over here, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck all that. <clears throat> so, because I want to break this shit down, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the manager at the time, we end up doing inventory. Inventory is fucked off. We in a hole about 120 or some shit for missing parts. Basically, shit not being built out or whatever the fuck, I don't know. But the manager in... What do you call it? Not the manager, but the nigga up under the manager, like. So BPG, I don't know, bro. The, he was my manager, I know that. He quit. I don't know why he quit. Never asked why he quit. Didn't give a fuck why he quit. But basically, when he quit, I took up his position. Now, I will say, I would, it's my responsibility to negotiate that, which I didn't do. So he ended up quitting, you know what I'm saying? I take. Uh, wholesale. He was a wholesale manager. Put it that way. He was a wholesale manager. So, all the wholesale and all that shit, I ended up taking that up. You know what I'm saying? The other two dudes did, but not as much as I did. You know what I'm saying? So, ended up taking that up. He ended up coming back. So, when he comes back, I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? This nigga came back to his position, his title, all that shit. Keep in mind, everybody's white except me. I'm the only nigga up in that hole. So I go to my, my boss and I'm like, say, hey, man, uh, John's back. What's up, bro? Do, do I get compensated for what I did while John was gone? Oh, no, we're going to keep you at the same pay. Okay, can I get a bonus or something for the work I did do? Uh, well, you know, we all had to work when he left, so uh, you know, I can't do that. But, you know, we really do appreciate it. We appreciate it. I walked out, fool. I walked out. I walked out and um, didn't have a plan B, but I was I was furious. I was frustrated. I was irritated. Oh man, like and like I said, I take responsibility. Like I should have put some shit in play before I stood up to that plate to do that. But um, you know, I, I the part of me feels like niggas ain't want to pay me because I'm a nigga and this nigga better be happy he even got this fucking job. You see, there ain't no other niggas up here, so he need to be considerate. He need to be, uh, uh, what's the word? Respectful. He needs to be, uh, lucky he even working in this hoe. That's how I felt. 
And that's how they made me feel. You know what I'm saying? So I quit with no plan B. You know, uh, politicking, sleeping with coworkers and shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I sleep with motherfuckers. I sleep with coworkers. But that's because I don't have a title. I'm a worker just like everybody else in this bitch. Everybody that's on my playing field, that's my playing field. So, bitch, if you got the same title as me, yeah, we can fuck. You know what I'm saying? But what happened was, motherfucker was into the girl I was fucking. And nigga held his nuts. Which I don't, you know what I'm saying? It hurt me more than it hurt you. And every time I know that, every time I leave a job or something happen, that shit hurt them more than it hurt me. Because my resume speaks for itself. I'm be able to get another job like that. And it, I, I haven't take a pay I haven't took a pay cut since Dodge. So basically everywhere I've worked since then, these two jobs now I'm at Amazon, my pay is still up. So but I gave y'all that rundown to show you, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking from experience. Now I know places that say you have, say your your girlfriend or your wife has your son or your daughter, right? Has a baby. They're like, all right, we'll give you two days off, but then we're going to need you back after that. Like, dog, come on. I just had a, a newborn. Like, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. You don't make enough money. That's why they said they don't talk. Now, I want to I wanna come back to that point. Don't talk to your fellow employees about how much you make. Your fellow co-workers about how much you make because everybody might not get paid the same. I wasn't under that impression. And so I started talking to niggas, I'm like, how much you make? Shit, I make 15. How much you make? I make 16. How much you make? I make 19. Like, damn, why the, how the fuck we all got the same title but we not getting paid the same? It's modern day slavery. I'm pretty sure I said this in the other video too. When you wake up, your first thought when you wake up, other than giving grace to God, you know what I'm saying? What you, I gotta get up and go to work. And then when you get off, well, while you at work, you like, you know what? I'ma go home and I'ma hold, I'ma put these posters up, or I'ma, uh, I'ma clean up house, or uh, I'ma finally work on, uh, I'ma finally work on that, uh, that that uh, book I want to write, or I'ma finally make this YouTube video, or I'ma. Uh, uh, play the game, you know what I'm saying? By the time you get off work, you're not gonna feel like doing that shit. What you gonna feel like doing? Either eating or sleeping. That's it. And you in that same, you in that same cycle for as long as you let yourself be in that cycle. The thing about being at Amazon now, now I work at Amazon. Uh, I go in at 10.45, I get off whenever I finish my route. So like yesterday, I finished my route at 6.30. I was done. You get paid by the hour, but sometimes I finish my route at 6.30. Sometimes I finish my route at nine. It just depends on the size of the route. and depends on the mood I'm in. But I like it now, because now I get up in the morning and I don't feel like, oh shit, let me hurt and get to work. Like, nah, I take my time. I get up in the morning, give my grace to God, you know what I'm saying? I go make me some coffee. Turn on me some R&B or something, or maybe I turn on some rap, depending on how I feel. Uh, make me my smoothie for the day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, I'll be real trying to nigga, drink my coffee, you know what I'm saying? Sit so on the toilet, go through my phone, see what's going on today. Get the shower nice and hot, you know what I'm saying? Take a shower, you know what I'm saying? Uh, iron my clothes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get time, I'm not rushed. I ain't got to be there at 1045. I get up around 8, 45. I'm not in no rush. My job is like literally five, seven minutes away from my house. So I'm not, you know what I'm saying? And now you see I'm back on YouTube because like now when I get off work, I still have energy. Like I'm not drained. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have nobody hovering over me all day. Like the only time I see people that I work with is when I get to work, we have a stand up meeting. We gonna load our van and that's it. I'm by myself the rest of the day. So I can play my music, I can listen to Katrina's live stream, my AO, or Naeem, or Grump, or uh, D Rose, or uh, the Black Pole, you know what I'm saying? I can listen to that all day. 
I can jot down ideas for the next video. I can uh, listen to my Need the Poe and Slow playlist and figure out what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, America has built, they have made the workforce so, so massive in our lives to where, like, everybody, like, revolves around it. So if somebody has found like a cheat to where like, nah, you ain't gotta do that. Or yeah, you can work for them. You can be an employee over here and a boss over here. That's why I'm so big on my YouTube. And that's why, because it's like, I got control over something. Like I have a hundred percent control of how I wanna play this, you know? And then you can soak up game from what they do over here. If you wanna start your own delivery company, you can go work for a delivery company or a pizza company or, or something like that, a gaming company and work for them and figure out how they do this and how you would do it this way. Like, it's not, it's not, it's only as bad as you make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a man. So as a man, it's in, I would like to believe it's in us to provide. So it's not so much as pulling teeth for you to go to work like it's just something in your blood that you know you're supposed to get up and go so you can provide you know what i'm saying so i the 24 hours we get in the day i appreciate every minute of it so i make sure you know what i'm saying at the end of that 24 i've done everything i could in the in that time so like i said it it is slavery Maybe you don't want to use that term, but like I said, it's only bad as you make it. I gave y'all the whole run of my work career to show you like, it took me a minute to understand some shit, that's just how it go. That's something you're gonna deal with at every job. Don't quit a job because, oh, they politic too much over here. I'm going over here and go walk into maybe a worse situation than what you was in. That's one thing I'm grateful for is every job that I decided to walk away from, I didn't have a regret. I don't have a regret. I don't. I've never had to double back and go to a job that I quit. By the grace of God, bro, because I'm real big on my pride. That's something I'm working on, but I've never had to do that. And to light on that, when I quit Subaru, I went back and talked to the GM and I told him like, I'm not asking for my job back. You've been you've been good to me and you've been loyal to me, so I felt like I owed you an explanation. I'm pretty sure they didn't even tell you what happened or why I quit. So I just came to tell you that two hours later they called talking about, well, if you don't wanna work front counter no more, you don't have to. We can put you in the warehouse and you'll make uh twenty dollars an hour. And I was like, all right, cool. But even if I would have took that back, I still would have been looking for something else. But that didn't work because, you know, he was mad on the bitch I was fucking on. It was a bitch he wanted to fuck. Basically hired the bitch and paid her more than everybody else to make him feel like, or make her feel like he helped her out just so he could fuck. So when she told me how much she was making shit, I'm like, nigga, wanna fuck you. She was like, I don't want to fuck you. I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure you don't know that, but that's how that shit go, bro. So this whole Harvey Weinstein and all this shit, bro, this shit happens from the bottom of the workforce to the top of the workforce, nigga. Some niggas, like I said, I look at that shit like niggas was hoes in school. Niggas was straight hoes in school, straight bitches. Or maybe they just didn't get the, 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 uh, acknowledgement they wanted so they went and got them a job title where people have to basically bow their heads to them be serving to them you know what i'm saying that's not something i would do just because i'm comfortable in my skin like i'm blessed so i don't feel like i gotta uh berate somebody i don't know if that's the right word but demean somebody to make me feel better but uh, you just got to be aware of uh, the workforce, man. You know what I'm saying? 
if I could give anybody some advice before I get up out of here, I would go to work, do my job, and get up out that place. Don't do no more, don't do no less. Go to work, do your job, and get up out that hole. And if you feel like something ain't right, if you feel like, man, it'll get better, nine times out of 10, it's night. When motherfuckers tell you, I'm paying you this. Don't feel like, well, if I work harder, maybe they'll pay. Because that's a big if, my nigga. That if for turn into a year and you don't pass up other shit because some of the, maybe they're not that hard on you here, but you're not making that much money. It's always, it weighs out. You know what I'm saying? Amazon for me is exactly what I needed because I need it. I get paid good and I need it to have enough energy when I get off work to do this, to do get back into my music. You know what I'm saying? Shit I want to do. Start working on my car. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to buy some land, so give me time to get out here. I get three days off. I work Sunday. I work Sunday through Wednesday. I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So... They give me time if I need to go to an office or something, I can do it on Thursday or Friday. They still open, you know what I'm saying? If I need to go do some ripping and running or something like that. Like, so you know what I'm saying? I just want to come to y'all today and, and tell y'all about that shit, man. And like I said, bro, if something don't feel right, get up out there, though. Don't let them, don't. I feel victim at, I'm, I'm going to say this, I'm going to get up out there. But I feel victim at Dodge. The whole reason he gave me that raise, it wasn't because I was due a raise or the work that I had done, the nigga said out his mouth, the reason I gave you that raise is because I thought you was gonna quit. So if you thinking about quitting, don't, if you don't, if you really wanna get up out of there, like stay until you get another job and get up out of there, do that. Don't go to them like, man, I think I'm gonna quit. Cause they'll throw some money at you and you'll feel good for a minute. But all them opportunities that was right there ready for you, if you were to quit right then, that might be gone. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to give y'all my input on this shit, man. So, but if you watching this or listening to this while you at work, mom, man, please just think about it, bro. Just think about it. Because if, if I want to quit Subaru, I wouldn't be at Amazon right now. And I've been wanting Amazon before I went through all them other jobs. So, you know what I'm saying? It's Phil Pacino. I'm out this hoe, man.